love has a thousand faces, but I see you. Before I ever knew you, before I ever knew you, I dreamed of you. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna spray my face. Um, with the Max Fix Plus, I love this stuff and it smells really good. Um, um, I like my skin to look kind of dewy during the day, most of the time, because I'm quite oily as it is. You don't want to look like a grease ball. Um, and then I am just gonna go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay. It's in full coverage and I am light neutral at the moment because I'm not tan. Sadly, it's winter time here. So, um, I just kind of apply it from the tube right onto my face. Yummy. Okay, and then, um, uh, I've been using this little tiny Real Techniques brush. It came in a kit that I got for Christmas. It's just cute. It's just a little fluffy brush. And then, I also spray that with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, and I just kind of... You don't buff it in yet, you just kind of tap it where you need more coverage. Okay, so now you're going to kind of start to buff and dab, I guess, is what that motion be, and make sure you get into your hairline. I hate, that's so one of my pet peeves is when some girls do their makeup and you can see it, it goes all the way. Like it stops right here and they don't buff it into their hairline like for it to look seamless. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my under eyes. I'm going to use the Smashbox Step by Step Contour Stick. Mine obviously needs to be a little sharp. Shoppany. I probably should have done this before the video but what can you do? Nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to take that under my eyes. Like I said, I have really bad bags right now because I've been like bedridden the past couple days. And I am going to take my beauty blender to actually buff that in. So I'm going to, again, spray my beauty blender with the MAC Fix Plus. Kind of squeeze it a little bit. I don't like my beauty blender to be, I know this sounds weird, but too damp. Like I like it kind of on the drier side. I'll show you why in a second when I go to um, set this powder, set this powder, set this cream. Um, and if you haven't used your blender with a powder, you need to do it like ASAP because it's awesome. I'm just going to take some translucent powder. Um, this is by MAN. So this is Makeup Artist Network. This is what I got in my kit when I went to um, makeup school. I just kind of press my beauty blender in the powder so like this and I just kind of set it where I put that cream down mostly on my eyes and in my nose area here because I tend to get oily there okay so then what I'm gonna start with next I'm gonna do my eyes because um, that's gonna be the easiest and I just got this new product uh, a couple days ago. It is um, a MAC, it's a Pearl Glide pencil. It's kind of like a blue, green, black, and um, it's called Black Swan. I think this pencil is limited edition, but they have it all the time. I didn't realize that I got a limited edition one until I went home and looked online. So what I'm going to do is just kind of put this all over my lid like all over it. Ow. That needs to be sharpened. I'm just going to take like a little flat kind of domed brush. It doesn't matter what brush you use, whatever you're comfortable with, because um, we're just going to be blending it anyway. So I'm just going to keep on blending until I get it to my desired shape and color that I want. I have been noticing as I've been using this product that it does set itself 
so it won't like crease that's also why I didn't put a primer on um, this shade does not crease so if you want to use this as your base and put down an eyeshadow on top of it which I have done so I have tested it it works awesome I mean if you're gonna do like a smoky eye I wouldn't put a lighter color over this or anything like that after I'm done blending everything like that I will take the pencil and kind of go on the waterline I have a mirror in front of me if I keep like looking away so I'm just putting this on the inner and this also could be not super messy but you don't need to be perfect and on the top okay so I'll take the same brush and I'll just kind of wriggle it under the lashes not nothing crazy because we're gonna go back in with kind of like a soft brown color and buff everything so it's seamless okay so then I will take a just a tapered blending brush um, this one is from Sigma it's just a small tapered blending brush and I'll go into the Urban Decay Vice palette and I'll probably take Downfall because it's like a nice soft camel brown and just tap off the excess and I'll just bring it under the eye just to kind of soften up the edges and bring a little bit of warmth to the eye also with a different blending brush something a little more fluffy like this dome brush this is also from Sigma it's the tapered blending brush go into that same color it is called downfall in the urban decay I think it's the number one vice palette and you're gonna go into the crease with this and just kind of do like a windshield wiper motion and then small almost like a small circle that's how you really get it very seamless and airbrushed I almost like this look to be a little bit not like messy but like more grungy <laughs> so if you don't like that look just keep blending um, and eventually you'll you'll get to the desired look that you want but I like the dirty kind of oil slick messy look even though this isn't really what I'm doing but um yeah more of the grungy kind of style look I don't know why depending on your eye shape um, I tend to keep it like how my eye shape is which is kind of round yeah they're round and small so I kind of keep it within not going out so much um, so I just tend it to my eye shape and you can do whatever you want with this I'm actually gonna contour and highlight my face because I just realized that I haven't done that yet so I am gonna take this is actually um, Too Faced this is from last year's holiday collection it came in like a little carousel it's a chocolate soleil so I'm just gonna dip my Mac angled um, contour brush into it tap off the rest and just kind of buff it in this is not fair that it smells like chocolate at all <laughs> bring that up into my hairline a bit and I like to put it down here I know a lot of people don't because they that's where they highlight but to me like on my face shape it looks weird because my face is kind of small so to have that stark white looks weird on me and I don't like that and I do have an eyebrow tutorial I could do another one more in depth but I'm just gonna kind of skip by that <laughs> so you don't have to watch me do brows because I feel like that's so boring brows are on um, <laughs> sorry I just figured that everyone has already seen how everyone does brows I'm just gonna brush through them and then I'm gonna continue to put on mascara um, you could do false lashes with this look I don't usually do false lashes every single day I just find it unnecessary unless I'm going to like a special occasion or I don't know I just don't see the need to do it every day plus I like to see how I looks 
look without um, false eyelashes because then you get a sense of how it really looks like with your own eyelashes, I guess. Um, not that there's anything wrong with false eyelashes. I like them too. It's just too much effort for one day. <laughs> for every day. But if you'd like to see more looks with false eyelashes, let me know and I will do them for you. Okay, so I am ju I just finished curling my lashes, so now I'm going to put on just any mascara. It doesn't matter. For blush, what do I want to use today? I'll use this. Um, this is the Josie Mayron. It is coconut, I think it's coconut water. Yeah, coconut water cheek jelly in Pink Island. It is actually awesome. I love this stuff and I forgot how much I loved it. I usually take this with me when I travel. Put it on because it's super pigmented and I don't want to look like I'm blushing all day. Some boy might get the wrong idea. <laughs> And now we're going to do lips. What color should we put with this? I'm trying to think because it's like a neutral kind of day. <laughs> don't want to do anything too super crazy. Let's do this. Let's do, um, this is the YSL Rouge Bleu. Um, so it looks like this. It's like a nice pink and it smells so good. Oh. <laughs> oh, and don't mind my background, by the way. Like, we just moved in, and it's kind of messy, but it'll even out. Don't worry. I'll get a nice background eventually. It's not on my top, so let me just show you how it looks. <laughs> oh, can't have lipstick on the teeth. Okay, so these are the eyes done. Lips. Okay, you guys, so that was the finished look. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. All right, see you in the next one. Bye.